Hey guys, welcome to Kids Help Desk. Mahakavi Subramanya Bharadiyar was a great Tamil poet, a prolific writer, freedom fighter, philosopher and a social reformer. He was the pioneer of modern Tamil poetry. He was also one of the most prominent leaders of the Indian independence movement. He was known as Mahakavi Bharadiyar. The laudatory epithet Mahakavi means a great poet. He is considered as one of India's greatest poets. His songs on nationalism and freedom of India helped to rally the masses to support the Indian independence movement in Tamil Nadu. Mahakavi Subramanya Bharati was born on 11th December 1882 in Etayapuram village of Tutukudi district in Tamil Nadu. His father was Chinnaswami Iyer and his mother was Lakshmi Ammal. He started writing poetry in Tamil at the tender age of seven. He was offered an honorary job in Etayapuram court which he refused and took up a teaching job in Madurai. He worked as a Tamil teacher from August to November 1904 in Sedubadi High School, Madurai. During this time, he developed a friendship with V. O. Chidambaram Pillai and Subramanian Siva, which kindled his inner passion for freedom. Many years of Bharati's life were spent in the field of journalism. Bharati, as a young man, began his career as a sub-editor in Swadeshamitran in November 1904 and used it as a means to attack the British rule in India. He, along with VOC and Subramanian Siva, attended the Varanasi Congress session. He attended meetings organized by VOC. People used to gather in his session to hear his passionate speech on freedom from the British. He participated at the Surat Congress conference, which is where he met Bal Gangadhar Tilak. By April 1906, he became the editor in the Tamil Weekly India and the English newspaper Balabharatam. These newspapers were also a means of expressing Bharati's creativity, which reached its peak during this period. Bharati started to publish his poems regularly in these editions. From hymns to nationalistic writings, from contemplations on the relationship between God and man, to songs on the Russian and French revolutions, Bharati's subjects were diverse. It was in May 1906 that the journal India declared the three slogans of the French Revolution, Liberty, Equality and Fraternity, as its motto. This blazed a new trail in the Tamil journalism. In order to proclaim its revolutionary order, Bharati had a weekly printed in red paper. India was the first paper in Tamil Nadu to publish political cartoons. He also published and edited a few other journals like Vijaya. He published the sensational Sudesa Gidangal in 1908. It was in mid-1908 when Bharati began to serialize Gnanaradam in his political weekly, India. In 1949, he became the first poet whose works were nationalized by the state government. In Madras, in 1908, he organized a huge public meeting to celebrate Swaraj Day. His poems Vande Mataram, Endayam Tayum, Jayabharadam were printed and distributed free to the Tamil people. In 1908, the British instituted a case against V. O. Chidambaram Pillai. In the same year, the proprietor of the journal India was arrested in Madras. Faced with the prospect of arrest, Bharati went to Pondicherry, which was under the French rule. Bharati resided in Pondicherry 
for some time to escape the wrath of the British imperialists. From there, he edited and published the weekly journal India, Vijaya, a Tamil daily, Balabharadam, an English monthly, and Suryodayam, a local weekly in Pondicherry. The British tried to suppress Bharati's output by stopping remittances and letters to the papers. But both the journals, India and Vijaya, were banned in 1909. During his stay in Pondicherry, Bharati had the opportunity to mingle with many leaders of the militant wing of the independence movement, such as Aurobindo, Lajpat Rai, and VVS Iyer, who had also sought asylum in the French Pondicherry. From Pondicherry, he guided the Tamil youth to tread in the path of nationalism. This furthermore increased the anger of the British towards Bharati as they felt that it was his writings that induced and influenced the patriotic spirit of the Tamil youth. Bharati met Mahatma Gandhi in 1919 in Rajaji's home at Madras. Bharati entered British India near Kadalur in November 1918 and was promptly arrested. Even in the prison, he spent his time in writing poems on freedom, nationalism and the country's welfare. In his early days of youth, he had good relations with nationalist Tamil leaders like V. O. Chidambaram, Subramanya Siva, Mandayam Thirmalacharyar, and Srinivasachari. Along with these leaders, he used to discuss the problems that the country is facing due to the British rule. Bharati used to attend the annual sessions of Indian National Congress and discuss national issues with extremist Indian national leaders like Bipin Chandrapal, B.G. Tilak and V.V.S. Iyer. The decision to divide the province of Bengal into two was taken by the British government, which was strongly opposed across the nation. Bharati also wrote about this in his journal, strongly recording his condemnation. His participation and activities in Benares Session 1905 and Surat Session 1907 of the Indian National Congress impressed many national leaders about his patriotic favour. Bharati maintained good relations with some of the national leaders and shared his thoughts and views on the nation and offered his suggestions to strengthen the national movement. Undoubtedly, his wise suggestions and steadfast support to the cause of nationalism rejuvenated many national leaders. Bande Mataram song united all the Hindus in Bengal. Bharati translated the Vande Matram song into Tamil and published it in Chakravardini magazine, after which Bharati's Vande Matram song became popular in many parts of Tamil Nadu. Bharati was very clear that unless Indians unite as the children of Mother India, they will not be able to achieve freedom. Several of his works included passionate songs kindling patriotism during the Indian independence movement. Bharati died on 11 September 1921, aged just 39. Bharati as a poet, journalist, freedom fighter and social reformer had made a great impact not only on the Tamil society but also on the entire human society. Bharati did not live for himself, but for the people and nation. Thus, Bharati played a pivotal role in the freedom of India. Subramanya Bharati stands an undying symbol not only of a vibrant Tamil nationalism, but also of the unity in India. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.